That's a durability thing. What's up guys, Eric? I've got the new Arma Vortex 4x4 BLX. This is a super cool looking little, little stadium truck right here, a little low profile basher, which is what really turned me on to it. And the fact that it's got, that it's got these little guitars on it right here, I absolutely love the guitar tires. And they are uh, pre-vented from the factory. Um, and the wheels look really cool. They're like a gunmetal, smoked gunmetal color. Uh, it kind of resembles the Proline F11s, I think. Uh, but this is just a super sweet little truck. It's got the wheelie bar that the V3 Big Rock uh, has, which has been super sturdy for me. I still haven't broken it, and I've had some gnarly rear end landings and rolls and stuff like that, and it's still held up. So it's an awesome design there, which really protects that rear end. The shocks on this are a little bit shorter uh, to give it that lower ride height uh, compared to the Big Rock or the Granite. Uh, the shocks uh, do feel really nice and plush right now. Uh, I believe stock is 500 CST, which is roughly uh, a 40 weight. Um, I may go to 45 weight. We'll just have to see how the truck does and how it handles. As far as the electronics, it does have the Spectrum 100 amp ESC in it with the uh, Spectrum uh, 3200 KV motor, 3660 size can. Um, and then uh, as far as the uh, remote goes, it's got the DX3, which to me is a really nice uh, feeling remote. I like the foam wheel. It's got nice spring action and the trigger right here. And this body looks really good. Uh, uh, once again, Arma killed it in the styling department and then the paint department. I know they got several different uh, paint schemes. You know, this is the red and blue. They got the green and then the uh, purple, which is really cool. Uh, I like how they integrated the wing into the body. Um, they did a pretty nice job of it, so it looks pretty sturdy. I did go ahead and uh, reinforce a little bit with some Gorilla Tape and uh, a little bit of shoe goo just, just to kind of get it ready for some, uh, for some harder thrashings. And real quick, guys, just a quick comparison between the uh, Vortex and the Big Rock as far as ride height goes overall. Uh, due to the low profile guitars and the shorter shocks, you got much more of a uh, lower ride, more of a parallel uh, shock position there. And then you got the Big Rock, which sits up a lot higher. So uh, it's going to be an awesome little truck, a whole new uh, driving experience, I'm sure. So a huge shout out to Arm and Horizon Hobby for another awesome rig. And we'll give her a quick run and see what's up. All right, guys, got the Vortex out for our first little romp. I mean, it's a sweet looking little truck. Looks really good in the sun. Can't wait to give it a rip. Um, she's completely bone stock straight out of the box, uh, except I did turn up the punch to a uh, punch a five on the ESC, which is max punch. I'm um, running a, a 18 tooth pinion, which is stock out of the box. Again, it does come with a 20 for the optional pinion, but I don't want to get the temps out of control. Um, I got a 3S uh, Panther in here, graphene pack, uh, killer packs with uh, plenty of punch. So we're gonna give her a quick run, see what's up. Oh. Yeah, she ripped pretty good straight out of the box. That's a durability test. Hey guys, this thing does like to uh, diff out, being that it doesn't have a center diff. So it does have a AVC on the radio. So I got it turned up to about 35% out here just because it's such, such loose dirt. 
These guitars hook up, hook up pretty nice in the kind of loamy sand, but you get her in some kind of a hard pack and she does like to slide around a little bit. Yeah, guys, she's not the best on uh, in rough terrain. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this thing a quick street run. I did uh, make a couple changes. I went ahead and threw in a steel spur gear because uh, I basically chewed up the uh, plastic one. I usually get through about one bash with a plastic spur gear, so I just went ahead and uh, just a one and done change on that. And uh, also, I went ahead to the uh, to the 20 tooth uh, optional pinion. To try to get that uh, 60 miles an hour or so but still this just with the 18 tooth she's super fast straight out of the box i mean super impressed uh for a for a rtr box stock little truck so um huge uh, shout out again to arma yeah i'd say she's cooking now for sure <laughs> Yeah, the thing about launching right here is uh, with the ramps set up against this curb, there is no margin for error whatsoever because if I uh, uh, miss the ramps, it's going to be a full speed head on smack to the curb. So that would not be good. So it uh, definitely takes a little bit of a little bit of concentration. <laughs> that was close. All right, guys, that's going to be it. This thing is so much fun to drive. Uh, the fun factor is definitely there straight out of the box. Um, I love these little guitars. The the, uh, the foams and the rubber feels really nice. Uh, it's got really good grip on the street and uh, a nice uh, loamy dirt and stuff like that. Just a killer little fun platform, a little low profile speed basher. Uh, it's not the best in like rough terrain, uh, just simply because it doesn't have the shock action, um, but it will take it. But if you got like a track or some, some flat, some flat area, grass, dirt, uh, gravel, stuff like that, she just rips. So a uh, huge shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby for another awesome little rig in the 3S lineup. This is an awesome platform and I just, uh, and I definitely love it. So, but everything's held up on the truck. Chassis is still good, arms are still good. So uh, we'll get out with it again soon. Might play around with the gearing a little more or maybe even uh, throw in a 4S system. Who knows, anything is possible. So, all right guys, until next time, RCG Data One, peace out.